Is this, and I'm listening to uh, uh, Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer's words, watching what's going on, in the show, on the floor right now. I know all the threats. Is this now political war? Well, what this is is a war about whether or not people are going to have health care. And I think if somebody in Michigan has cancer, they have a right to know what is in this bill and to give their opinion before it's voted on. Or uh, somebody whose mom has Alzheimer's and is going to lose her nursing home care as a result of what we think is coming. So this really, to me, it's personal. It's not political. Now, will we use political means in order to be able to try to stop this and have a different conversation. You know, let's have a conversation about lowering prescription drug prices, it, it, about are, lowering other costs. Are they this just, is are, the wrong conversation. Are, is everything behind closed doors? Am I correct as I state is that the Democrats have no say in this bill that's going to be put on the Republican floor, whatever it turns out to be? Do you have that's no correct. say? You have absolutely that's zero, correct. nothing. Correct. And I have to tell you, I am the lead Democrat on the health subcommittee. And back when we did health reform, we had over 50 hearings and public meetings just in the finance Is committee it, alone. When you I, add it all up, there were a hundred different public meetings before we even took this bill out of committee. All right. I'm, a, I'm appalled at that because I think that, you know, last week we actually, after the terrible shooting, we had some sort of hint that maybe there'd be some, right. you know, people be working together on both sides. I'm particularly appalled. But, but when the, when the health care bill passed in 2010, I'll never forget uh, what uh, uh, Speaker of the House then Nancy Pelosi said, she'll pass, they'll pass it and then we'll know what's in it. How is this, how is this well, different from first, that? First, First of all, she was talking about everyone in the country understanding what was coming in terms of uh, health care. And I think we all agree that, you know, the way that was said, uh, I think, was unfortunate and twisted. Bottom line is this. In the Senate, we had a hundred different hearings, public meetings, uh, open processes. We came to the floor. In the end, by the way, Greta, let me just stress that in the end, because we were doing everything possible to get bipartisan support, we actually included 147 Republican amendments All in right. the bill, All right. just even though we didn't get support. And we spent 18 months on this. All right, tell and me so what, tell me this, what is, this is wrong. All right, I don't mean to interrupt you, no, but no, that's tell, okay. me, tell me what you're going to do at 8 o'clock. Explain to me, because your, your turn's coming up. So what do you, what do you, how long will you be speaking and what are you going to do? Well, first of all, I just came from the floor, and I'm going to go back and speak at 8 o'clock. But the first thing I did was just make a motion for unanimous consent that no amendments be offered on this bill on the floor until it's referred to the Finance Committee and the Health Committee. They have a hearing, and they report it out with the majority of, of uh, and, people and on you, that you committee. you didn't win that one, right? You didn't win that one? No. Okay. Did not right. win that so one. So 8 o'clock, So now I go at 8 o'clock, and I'm going to lay out, I'm going to read uh, stories from people in Michigan who are desperately afraid of what's going to happen to them. A small businesswoman named Amy, Amy in Michigan who has leukemia and uh, is going to lose her capacity to get treatment and she'll not have a pre-existing condition and maybe not be able to get health insurance. I mean, there's it, hundreds of when, people when you that read, I've heard from. When you Thousands read those probably. stories, I mean, what, I mean, when, you, when you're up there doing this and when you look around the Senate, are the, are the Democratic senators and Republican senators all there or who shows up? Well, Democrats will be there. But this the Republican, evening. There, Republicans expect, will not. You expect zero Republicans when you do this at 8 o'clock? I'm not sure. There might be one person there to object when we stand up and say that we want a hearing before there's a bill brought to the floor. I mean, we're saying no hearing, no bill, no hearing, no vote. Uh, the public has the right to know. It's not about me. It's, it's about the people I represent who are going to lose health care and see their costs go up. And then what they get to watch is that the money that is saved from taking away their health care is going to be used uh, for a tax what? cut for the wealthiest Americans. One last quick question. How long will this, this will go on through the night, how long, when does this stop, this, uh, this, this uh, Democratic taking the floor? When would you expect it to well, end? Well, we're, we're going to do it today, we're going to do it tomorrow, we're going to use every tool that long? we have. All night long? I'm not sure we'll go through the whole night tonight, but we're going to go late and then we'll come back and be on the floor tomorrow and the next day and the next day and every opportunity that we have and we also are encouraging people to continue to be engaged because in the end, we've got 48 members and, and they are together but I, we've got to have three Republicans with us and to I stop hope, this. And I, and I hope that uh, you'll come back and join us as we continue to watch this. Thank I you. Will. Thank you, Senator.
Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.